good morning and welcome to today's upload my name's emma make sure you subscribe every week i do a lovely long weekly vlog and also do hauls and chats and disney and all sorts of things so hello how are you how have you been what have you been doing what's it like in your country at the moment um we're still kind of um able to see people in the garden not yet next week we can kind of two houses can combine so that's good the shops are open here i went to poundland hooray it's been a while since i've been to poundland and i know you lot love my poundland hauls i went to poundland and the social distancing was fine there was stickers everywhere um actually i took erin and i haven't really apart from a garden center they haven't really been to any shops so she was fine it was great and I just thought I'd do a little Poundland haul. Now I am going to be doing a Poundland haul probably once a month or once every six weeks and they will have like a little theme I think that's going to be the plan. So it might be cleaning products or it might just be back to school or it might be parties or whatever whatever's going on in my life so I'm buying stuff that I need and then showing you what I've got rather than going to buy a whole host of random stuff. So it's very windy outside today. I'm just going to shut a window. What's the weather like where you are? It is very windy. I don't want you to hear a lot of wind in the background. Okay, right. So this is going to be kind of summer holiday stuff. So um, I will have the children at home for another few weeks for homeschool. And then obviously it'll be summer holidays. So it will be another six weeks. And then fingers crossed, they hopefully will go back to school. We don't know as yet, but let's hope they are. So I'm going to have my kids with me for a while. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video on like kind of summer craft ideas or summer holiday ideas or reward charts. I've done things about those before. If you're going to have children at home with you. So I thought I'd pick up some of the bits and pieces um, that's going to help me with having the children home for six weeks. So as you know, if you followed here for a while, every year we do a scrapbook and this year is going to be no different. I usually get my scrapbooks from Amazon and I think they're kind of two, I want to say like two for four quid or two for five, but they are definitely thicker than these, but they also, I never really end up they don't usually end up filling them all up. So we like to have a scrapbook each summer holiday and in the scrapbook, the children will put places we've visited. They'll get, you know, um, if we go away anywhere, they'll get like um, leaflets or they'll get, we'll print off photos. The first day, we always get them to design a cover. These are actually Crayola scrapbooks, 20 pages. So that's kind of like 40 different entries. So I think that's perfect. If they're just doing play dates or doing playing in the garden, I get them to do a picture. Let me know if you want me to do a bit more of an in-depth video. I can show you the scrapbooks we've done for the past three years, I think. We've got three years worth of scrapbooks. So they're really good. Erin saw those. To go with the scrapbooks, I like to get some stickers for them to decorate the covers and also just decorate inside. So... We just picked up some alphabet stickers so they can do titles and stuff. Maybe I should have picked up two packs, but we'll see how they get on with those. They're like silver sparkly. Also in Poundland, they do two for a pound stickers. So Erin obviously picked some sloth stickers. She loves sloth, sloth life. Take your time, slow down. Don't hurry, be happy. And I think the sloth that's wearing like a kind of polka dot woolly jumper is definitely me and for Ethan we got like these like cute little monsters and it's got sweet leave me with you leave me with you what does that mean leave me with you leave me with you I don't know is that a catchphrase hi hello but we just thought they were cute um I might usually with sticker sets like this I cut them in half so they can have half each but we'll, we'll see also, I thought these are really great. These are foam smiles, 80 pieces, assorted sizes. They say assorted sizes. They're not assorted sizes. They are all the same size, so I don't know why it says that. Assorted sizes, peel and stick, but they are all different types of faces. And this would be really good for reward charts if you're looking to do reward charts with your children. If you are potty training over the summer, a lot of people potty train. Get them in the garden so they can wee in a corner rather than weeing in your house. They'd be really good for that. So reward charts because you've got smiley faces, you've got um, ones that kind of say love you. 
I think they're really good. So what I will probably do with these is half them, give them a little poly pocket each full of stickers so that they're not fighting over them. There's lots of good Crayola stuff in Panland at the moment. I've not seen much of it before. This is a Bugs and Butterfly Foam Bead Kit. So you can make two bracelets. My two are obsessed with making each of the friendship bracelets, which is very cute because if you're new to the channel, I'm here to tell you that my children often fight. <laughs> so they can make a bracelet each, and I thought that's not a little afternoon's activity. Or if you are going on a play day, you could pop a couple in. Another thing I do, maybe I should do a whole video on it, how I prepare for the summer holidays. Another thing I also do is I generally get go out and buy loads of packs of biscuits if we're going to people's houses for play dates. I can shove a couple of packs of biscuits in the bag and get there and go, oh, here we go guys, like cookies or party rings, usually from Home Bargains or from Panland. I also might pick up from Home Bargains like the kind of little Kinder Egg treats or some stickers so the kids can play those on a play date. Now we can have two families at the same time. Um, I'm hoping to get some play dates in, which is really good because unlike some of your children, my children haven't been at school and I do worry a bit that they're missing out on that interaction. I'm gonna shut this window as well. While I'm getting all deep, all I can hear is the wind blowing. I have been a bit worried that they've, they've been missing out on a bit of interaction. I'm really pleased to say that next week they're starting their dance lessons outside rather on Zoom so they can be with other children. So really looking forward to that. I also picked up a classic chalk in a bucket, chalk in a bucket. One of the favorite things that I do with the kids that Stephen does not like is we decorate the garden, the floor, the patio floor. We might put them up against the side of the house and they draw around each other and it's just fun. And it comes in a nice little tub. And again, this is another thing that you might just wanna have in your, your boot of your car and if you go around to somebody's house and they don't mind you can all draw on the patio and erin spotted this she really wants to do some baking we did start to do baking we haven't done any baking in lockdown i'll be honest because we struggled to get flour and ice and sugar but she would like to do some cookies so whoops got some writing icing all of this stuff's a pound she picked purple pink and blue so it's always handy to have in the cupboard isn't it and another thing i picked up for a pound i'm wondering now if maybe these were two pounds hmm not sure we are not going to disney as i've discussed we will be kind of hanging out in the uk this summer and we'll be using old buckets and spades that we've got in the back i'm sure they do do buckets and spades in poundland or home bargains especially in seaside resorts i know when we've been to butlins in like Bognor or Margate, you can go in and they have buckets and spades there. So I picked up a little fishing fishing net each to go, what's it called? You know, when you just, I mean, they're not gonna catch any fish. When you go and you look around all the rocks and stuff. So if we go to the seaside, well, if we brave the seaside, we will use those. This is just silly and frivolous and stupid with the paddling pool, which, the paddling pool, the tent, and the trampoline have been an absolute godsend uh, in lockdown. Really, really good. It's just given us something fun for the kids to do. I will say, if you are considering a trampoline and you're like, um and an R and you're worrying about the grass getting ruined or is it a pain, go for it. If you've got enough money and you've got a couple of hundred quid or a hundred quid or whatever it is, go for it, get a trampoline. This is the second summer or is it the third summer, the second, and they are on it permanently. They'll also be on it in autumn. If it's not too cold in winter, they go on it. It is a really, really, really good, solid investment if you are a parent. But the paddling pools, I just bought these funny drinks holders and I just thought that'd be fun for them to have in and have a little glass of squash and just have those floating on the top. So there's a watermelon one, a lime one, and a lemon one. There was another set as well, but Erin chose those ones. Classic bubbles, you can't go wrong with bubbles. And then you can also make your own bubble potion. Not potion, bubble potion. <laughs> and put it in afterwards. So I've got one of those each. They will both fight over the blue one because they're both like the color blue. I know this is gonna happen. They will also do that thing where they spill it 
I know that also is going to happen. But bubbles are always good for outdoor fun. Um, they have got a great range, and I've actually used them because I had a barbecue with my friend and her daughter the other night. They've got a really nice range of summery paper plates, serviettes, paper cups at the moment. So I went for this one with a toucan and a, I think it's a cockatoo. Cockatoo. Have I invented that word? I haven't invented the word cockatoo, have I? Pa cockatiel? Let me know what I'm talking about. Parrot. <laughs> Uh, so we got some of these. I think they also might have had ones with banana leaves on, but they were really, really nice and they're good. When we go for picnics, we always put a couple of paper plates in just to make us feel a bit fancy. And finally, Ethan has made a um, greenhouse thing out of an orange juice a box and he wants to grow some seeds in it. So I got these, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see our marvellous sunflowers, which have grown beyond my wildest dreams. They're yet to have a sunflower head on it yet. I think I mentioned in a vlog last week that Stephen put fake plastic sunflower head on to trick me. So I bought some little, um, it's a pot, oh, it's a tray as well, pots and a tray for seedlings. So with the sunflower seeds, we actually put them in yogurt pots, grew them in the house, then we transferred them into one big pot, grew them a bit more, and now they're in individual pots. So we'll do something similar, but we thought, Erin thought these would like, look really cute, lined up in Ethan's little um, greenhouse. You could use yogurt pots, you could use jelly pots. Uh, but we just thought those would look really sweet and I picked up a pack of seeds. I have no idea what these seeds are like. Six sachets of flower seeds for baskets and pots. Sow seeds January to June. Um, got petunias, violas, Elysium, lobelia, marigolds and nasturitutrum, which sounds like some sort of baddie. 1,250 seeds. That sounds terrifying. We need 12. <laughs> so hopefully, oh, we could use them by the end of next year, so they'll last a couple of summers. Uh, I think that's it. So there we go, that's just a little summer Poundland haul for you. Let me know if you want me to do a kind of summer holiday hacks, how to keep your kids entertained, if you would like me to do, um, you know, one focusing on the scrapbook, or what kind of Poundland hauls would you like me to come up with? I will definitely do obviously Christmas ones, we'll do a Halloween one, we will do one for birthday parties. So it'll be kind of like one a month, uh, one every six weeks, and I'd love to know kind of like, almost like a what's new in Poundland uh, kind of video. And also hopefully I will pop into Home Bargain soon. Home Bargain, um, the one that is near to me is still really busy with very large queues to get in. Um, so I've kind of avoided that for a little bit. So we'll see what it's like soon. So I love you lots. Let me know in the comments how you are, what you're up to, if you're still shielding, all that, you know, stuff that I like to know because I'm a little bit nosy. And I will see you in another few days for a little cheeky vlog. Night guys.